Are we alive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning, good morning, kids of Rydell High. If y'all are my age, you should recognize that. You better recognize. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. My eyes twitching. That's fun. So, I. See, that looks so good. Thank you. Definitely gonna have to top coat it though. Yeah. Um, I've been asked lately about doing a Dutch pour and resin, and I've done. Minimal homework, and um, from what I gather, a Dutch pour is... Tina from Alabama is in the house. Roll Tide, Tina from Alabama. So... Oh, hi! I was just watching all of your videos. Rimsky, is that right? Those All those ones that I was just watching are hers. You have an awesome channel. I love your accent. Um, I don't know how to do a Dutch pour. I do know how to resin. Um, what I gather is you put white down. You do like a puddle of color. Circle it with more white. You push the white over the color and then you push everything else back the other way. I'm super sure that this is not going to be as beautiful as yours, but I was very inspired um, by, let me get my phone. I have to show you guys. Like I was just watching, whoops, just watching her videos, trying to get inspiration and some knowledge for this. So I am super flattered that you're here. I subscribed to your channel. Aren't they beautiful? I have no idea how you come up with such beautiful acrylic art, but. What are you doing? I'm going to attempt acrylic pour doing? soon, too. Let's go say hi to the people. So, um, Zoe wants to say hello. The Dutch accent. <laughs> so, my father's from Germany. I'm very familiar with. Check out your mama. Hi, Ben. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, Jen? Hey. <laughs> um, if you haven't checked out her channel, please do so. She does beautiful artwork. <laughs> she does work in acrylics, and I don't know how she... I don't know your formula, but you do awesome acrylic work. How random and awesome is that? I'm super pumped. That made my whole day better. Who, uh... I don't see that person down here. Yes, yeah, she's here. I just, um, I'm sure I'm butchering her name though. Unfortunate. Rinsky, I swear I want to say it that way, but I'm sure I'm saying it way wrong. Anyways, she's brilliant. And when Jen comes down, she's going to teach me how to do acrylic pours because I'm really bad with mediums. Um, mm. the science of how much water and corn medium do you use glue or Floetrol or Orbital or Alvitol? I have no idea. So, yeah. And Mixed Media Girl's coming down here in the beginning of September probably for a couple days and she's going to also help me with acrylic pores. <laughs> okay, so this is a 16 by 20 canvas that we had a while back. It had a pour on it, not the cutest pour I've ever done, so I've um, covered it. First thing is you have to put white down, so I'm going to do that. Now, because I work in resin and I don't mix anything in it like with acrylic pours, I'm going to use my... No, not going to use that. I'm going to use a not base tint in my... 
going to use base tint for my bottom white. This one is by Stone Coat Countertops. Don't Sorry forget. for the movement, y'all. I'm trying to get this at a better angle for you guys to see. To use minimal, minimal base tint when making your white or else your cells won't stay. You want it just opaque so I can still see color through like that. So that's good. I am going to make it slightly opaque with the addition of this System 3. I'm using System 3 instead of my just resin white or my color obsession white because I'm out. Okay. So I'm going to put this under where I'm going to have my my puddle. I'm going to mix that out. This will also help incorporate my resin into itself a little better. And if I'm not mistaken, you have to have a lot of white down for a Dutch pour to work. And it has to be relatively on the thinner side, but that could be, I could be very mistaken on that. So I'm gonna keep this base tint white closer to the center, because I don't wanna move too much of it over my um, colors. I'm gonna mix a different white for that, that ring that you put down. Is he playing with his game? Oh, Bowie. So the reason why we're going live early today is because we have to go to a one-year-old birthday party and Bowie's gonna go play with a new friend. Taco. Taco. So this will be the white that I circle my piece with. I'm gonna use System 3, not the base tint because you want to keep the base tint under your other colors and system three is supposed to be on top of your color. So that's why this, I'm using two different whites for this, this piece. So the colors I'm going to use today are not a secret. I'm just trying to pour this out. I also gather that, um, Dutch pores are supposed to be very negative space, which I'm completely down for. If you guys have seen any of my videos, you know that I am a negative space aholic. That's the main style that I use in my artwork. So, got that to the side. Well, bye Sue. Have an awesome day at work. So the first color I'm going to use is dark turquoise. If you guys have followed me for any amount of time, you know that this is my all-time favorite deep turquoise color. Now if I could just get it open. B, I need assistance. No, I don't. Never mind. I got it. Strong. So... Well, I might be out a bit in this particular container, so I may need him to go get me some more of it. If you guys don't have any of these like little spatula deals, I highly recommend them because they'll get up under that lip in your jar. I have some um, here if you guys send me a message. Um, if you order anything from our store, I'll include it in your package. Package. That got a lot brighter, that's good. You guys can't see it on the spatula, but hopefully you can see it on the side of the cup, how pretty this color is. It. Okay, 
I'm also going to use Ultramarine Violet by Just Resin. This is a super awesome deep purple color that I've been using lately. It reminds me of... It reminds me of um, Stormy Seas a little bit from Color Obsession. The next color I'm using is a brand new one from Just Resin. This is bright yellow. And it's kind of like the, um, uh, can't. What, uh, it's kind of like that fluorescent that? yellow, but it's not. Y'all just resonate messing around. Mm -mm. So vibrant. I am not a fan of using yellows in my artwork, but. I cannot wait to go see them. I was super inspired by. Shout out to Just Resin. You are in a fantastic mood <laughs> for a one-year-old pool party. Thank you. And my favorite bright pink color. This color palette was definitely inspired by our new friend's artwork. <clears throat> Look at that color. Now you're supposed to use 10% paint. Kathy, how are you? To resin ratio, but I use a little bit more than that in my powders because they seem to dilute a little bit in. Look how pretty that color is. They seem to dilute a little bit if you use a lot of heat and it seems like this method might require some heat to get the resin liquid enough um, to manipulate like acrylic paint does. And then the purple. Like. Sorry, I haven't read any comments. I'm glad you're here, Happy. Hello, Angela. They're talking amongst themselves. This is a little bit translucent, which I am not mad about. Hello, Frost for Life. Okay, I got my white mixed up. I've got these colors which the yellow scares me to death but it's gonna be fine right All right heat i'm using our antique heat gun you can find that in the description box under our amazon link what i wonder if i should line? have more resin down for this what is that line right there this one yeah um there was a flake and i oh Hold it out. It's all right, I'll cover it with art. Jen said, Erica, you can throw white on a canvas and it looks beautiful. Uh, <laughs> you said that or someone said that? Jen said it. Jen. You're amazing. And done. Ta da. One million dollars. Mwahaha. Okay. So. Puddle pour. I'm Walk gonna, away. I'm going to aim for... Done. That would go in the Museum of Modern Art. Should. MoMA. That's going to take over big time. <laughs> this should look amazing. In theory... It's like Scarlet. She comes up with some crazy colors and it looks amazing. I'm adding a little bit more of this dark turquoise because it's my favorite of all these colors. Oh my God, these little flies are driving me insane. I think we should gripe a lot. Because they're so gross. Okay. So, I have my those. Thanks, I took it. Catter. <laughs> oh, thanks, Catter. She found us a place in... Um... Uh, not too much, Vamp. Just... Uh, we just started pouring the colors. Phoenix. So, are we ready? Are we going to book Phoenix or what? Yeah, I told her to put it down. You guys, I think we got a spot in Phoenix. Now we just need one in uh, Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City. City. Utah. 
Utah. Okay, I'm scared. I'm nervous. So what do you have to do? You push it over? Or you... you have to push the white over the color, and then you push everything, and then you push the whole thing. Like, so if I blew the white in this way, then I would blow then everything that way. Mm. In here. Okay. Mommy, 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 moment of truth. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. It does look like a creepy eyeball, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. So blow the white into the color. And then you're supposed to blow all of it that way. Ugh. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Don't mind me if I just make a flower real Look quick. That yellow. And do you tilt it or you leave it? No, you like use your face. I've never seen anyone tilt it. They like use just your face. Blow, not oh. like. <laughs> Headbutt it. I'm not sure where the name Dutch Pour came from, but I think that the the reason or the the difference is that you cover it in white and then you completely abandon it and go that way. So this looks very acrylic pory right here. IMO. Bowie, what? He's got a cup. I don't want him chewing on that cup. He took it, like, walked away from me. Thank no, you, sir. Dorian. Not yours. No, sir. This is resin, and I'm using my regular... Oh, it's because of Rinsky, and it's because she is Dutch. That makes sense. Trying to make sure I don't get my hair in this. Yeah, you need to stop. <clears throat> hair and makeup, calling for hair and makeup. Ow. Put apple cider vinegar down for the gnats. You won't be bothered. I tried that and it didn't do much. Apparently, whoever is under us. There's parking under us. Or no? No, there's a business. There's offices. Okay. I don't know why it's tilting this way, but let's adjust. I think I might add some more heat on it and blow it this way some more. I would tilt that. Okay. Look at all that color. I definitely don't want to use too much heat because I did use stone coat for my cells. It's gonna. So I am going to tilt it's this. It's muddy. You heat it too much. Look how amazing those cells look. Thank you, Roxy. She said you did a fabulous job. Thank you. That is so fun. Tilt it back or leave it as like a side explosion. I like that. Too bad it's on a wrapper canvas. I know. You should do one like that on one of the long ones. Oh like yeah. 12 by 36. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of ATD flare in this. She's flaring it up, she's flaring it up. By the way, look how amazing I did her hair.
Tilt it back, tilt it back. So does anybody know of a venue in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah? Please contact us or share our information. Don't be scared. Semi bummed that we lost a lot of that yellow, but not mad at this pour at all. I don't want to add too many of my sprigs here. Sprigs? I don't know. What, what is them. that word? A sprig is part of a flower. Oh. <laughs> I know I make up a lot of things, but that one wasn't one of them. Oh, here, these are done. No, I need to do a full tutorial. I want to do a full review on those. You want to take them out? Uh, no, because I want to do them. I know the yellow is the bane of my existence 100%. What do you think, B? What should I do to it? Hey. I'm mixing here. Oh, sorry. I mean to interrupt. Rinsky was 100% my inspiration for this. I, after the video post, I'll link her channel down in the description box below. Make sure you check her out. She's a beautiful person. She does amazing artwork. And she inspired me to give this a shot, for sure. If you look at these, it looks like... Um, you know, monarch butterflies, how their wings have those like sections and facets to them? what it looks like right here when you're done I'm gonna need a close-up got you got you I'm gonna have to try this technique again. And I'm gonna use a thinner resin, I think. Like I'll heat up the resin. That way, um, it'll flow a little more easily. I can use less heat and therefore the colors won't muddy like it did in this area. I want to put something here. Okay, I don't know if I'm about to wreck it, but I'm going to try something. I'm scared. What's the worst that could happen, right? What are you doing? I'm going to add yellow here. Oh, okay. I'm scared, though. That's fun. What, what, what would that be? Dip wiping? Uh, Just let's came up with a call new it a color wipe. transfer? Dip wipe. Mm, I don't dip know. swipe. Dip swipe. <laughs> Is it a dip low? Dip swipe. There we go. Now I feel like I need to add a yellow on this side to balance it, maybe? Yeah, I would put it where that yellow is already. Mm -hmm. Right here? Right and here. drag drag that pink in there. All right, dip swipe number two. Clara's in the house. Clara. This 
literally like you're painting with it. Y'all, <whistles> dip swipe is my new obsession. Dip swipe. Okay, I need more paint. Come here, yellow. Let's brighten up some stuff. I'm just painting on just about the amount that I would put um, it on to pick up resin. And then I'm pulling it just slightly as I lay it down and pulling it um, horizontal. And then I'm continuing the swipe outward. New e-science. Oh yeah, 007 might be a good dip swipe color. Okay, I'm gonna do another dip swipe. I would also recommend not swiping away from you as I'm doing in this instance. And always use a new piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm impressing myself. Babe. <laughs> I know, something's <laughs> gonna happen to this because I'm so digging it, but while I'm feeling myself, I'm going to live in the moment. Nails by Cindy. Love this, Erica. Great job. Thank you. Couldn't have done Just it. creative art. Looking beautiful, E. Without my inspo for today, which I will link down in the description box. Yellow might not be the enemy. Right? You may have to, like, pick a new enemy. Right, before I over yellow this thing, I may have to call it. Yeah. Orange is the new enemy, sold. Super pumped. I'm getting some awesome little baby cells with this. I know that if I tipped it the other direction and brought it back, it would do something amazing as well, but I, I don't want to lose what I've got going on. I just thought I'd show you guys that and that. I'm very proud of this guy. Oh, he. <laughs> Look, this is my son when he was a baby. <laughs> That's when he played baseball. That's my nephew, Stefano. I think she should do it on one of those. Okay, right. Long one there. 16 by 40. How amazing would that look? Look at all these canvases, you guys. You guys need to come over and paint these with us. I just want to know if it works the same with a powder. Maybe we'll put these little baby spatulas up in the store because they're handy. I want to try it with a paintbrush. Do a, a real good amount of white. Dip the brush in it and do like the swirls that I do. Oh, yeah. So it kind of covers it up too. I'm not going to go crazy with my swipes because I still want it to be ultimately a Dutch pour. Joe's so. Creative Art says, I'm jelly. Pout. I want to go to Dallas. <laughs> Come on. Okay. It looks like a crazy almost lobster, abstract lobster. You guys see it? <laughs> sure. 
Dip swipe. All right, well, looks like that'll be the end of that. Let's see here. What else is there? Lobster, yeah. So that's how this turned out. It's fun because you can see the sand. It's like shiny and not shiny. It looks like the ocean just kind of came into the beach. I love these like striated wispies. Like this would make an amazing picture right there. Look at that. Cover shot. Yeah. Look at these. You should call those fishnet cells. Godly, babe. Your stippled stuff looks like schools of fish. Oh, yeah. I meant to do that. Totally meant to. Somewhere I picked a fly out. Top coat, here I come. Yep, she's gonna flood coat this and it's gonna look amazing. Make a coffee table out of this. Bowie, you need to come say hi? You need to come say hi? Come here. <laughs> He's like, no, ma'am. <laughs> He's done. All right, I'm linking Rinsky. I'm still pretty sure I'm saying that way wrong but i'm putting her information down in the description box sorry for all the movement i'm trying to put you back on the <laughs> enough both boys are down here like well what's up Where, are we gonna go somewhere gonna take no eating bowie please um, it was in resin. It was my first attempt at a Dutch pour. Gold channel? In any medium. What okay, Miss Bouvier. Um, they're palms. They're Pomeranians. I have a matching set. And they're not related. Kucho, what's up? <laughs> he knows what time it is. ATD poor pups. We're giving Kujo a break from Bowie today. We're gonna take Bowie to the one-year-old birthday party, which Kujo would hate. Bless you, Tony Pop. There's a bunch of purple. Cut some of these for me. Uh, Roxy, they do a little. I, I figured um, Bowie would because his hair's so long, but it it's not bad. What's from? Um, they shed twice a year when they blow their coats from temperature change. We will be in Colorado Springs. Um, Anita, as I said, Annette. Annette. Um, we'll we'll be in Colorado Springs in October. Thank you, Caroline. What's up, JJ? Bradenton is the next up class. Yeah. JJ, send me um, send me an invoice for that uh, for the Dallas Cowboys tickets. 
I don't know if you did that already. I didn't see one. All right, you guys. I got to take the boys out, and we have to be at this one. Molly, we are in Dallas, Texas. Party at Court Woods. Thank you, Teresa. Um, all right. We got to be there in about 45 minutes. So, thank you all for coming in and seeing what we're about today. Okay. <laughs> You okay? Um, we sure am glad. We sure am glad. I didn't get enough sleep, I don't think. Um, look at sure him, look at her. Glad that you guys <laughs> came in and saw us today. Um, we did try some new stuff, and today it worked. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't work for you guys. Keep trying. Thanks, Miss Bouvier. Art is, art's difficult, especially when you do new stuff. Um, today I got lucky, and I had great inspiration, which I will link down in the description box below this video as soon as it posts. Um, be kind to one another. Thanks, Vinny. You never know what someone may be going through. Subscribe, hit the bell, and check us out. We post Orgo Live every day. We'll see you all next time. Bye. I said bye.